Today, we're gonna to be talking about powerlifter, social media influencer, and boxer, Steffi Cohen. So right now, a pro boxer and fitness influencer is under arrest, accused of cyber harassment. So, pick your cup up and get ready to grow from the drama and learn from the chaos. So, mm -hmm. Steffi Cohen. For those who don't know, she's one of the strongest female powerlifters in the world and currently the holder of the APA deadlift world record. She, she, she's a strong, strong lady. Oh my. She was also Florida State senior gold medalist in 2015. So we're talking about a highly decorated woman. Got some accolades. Not the cretins that we usually talk wow. about. Wow. Yeah, man. I said it. So soon, no, don't soon. <laughs> it's just the jokes. So let's give a little background first of all, okay? So Dr. Stephanie Cohen Margarici. She's a doctor. Yeah, brother. When man say distinguished lady. We are ladies, aren't we? She's more commonly known as Steffi Cohen. She was born in Venezuela, but currently resides in Miami, Florida. She had an interest in sports from a young age. Mm-hmm. She played tennis and then she got into playing football. I mean, that's a decline. You know, from being very sophisticated with the tennis to being, you're right, mate, down the line, down the line. She got picked up by the Venezuelan national team. You know, it's interesting. My mom really had a vision and just kind of knew or felt that the situation in Venezuela politically, economically wasn't going to improve. So she was the one that really pushed me to to pursue. At, the, at that time, I was playing soccer. I played for the national team back in Venezuela. Oh, okay. And oh, wow. yeah, and she was the one that kind of pushed me to try to get a, so a sc soccer scholarship here in the States. Um, and obviously, you know, pursue a higher level of education. And so initially, I got a soccer scholarship to play in San Diego State. And that was kind of the first the first place that I moved when I came here. In 2012, she received the NCSF certification as a personal trainer. In 2014, she achieved her bachelor's of science degree in physiology and sports medicine. And she became a certified strength and conditioning specialist in 2016. In 2018, she became a doctor of physical therapy. Mm, okay, all right, so she knows her stuff. Oh, I, I think there's no doubt about that. So she managed to grow her YouTube page to 213,000 subscribers at the time of this recording and her Instagram to 1 million followers. And so obviously people liked her yeah. and the content that she was putting up. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't like her now. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm uh, Steffi. Mm. Oh, what's going on, Steffi? Yeah, you need to talk to your two favorite bros. Come on, man. I don't want beef with Stephanie. How about that? <laughs> okay. So she's been in the news because she's facing some offenses. Criminal. Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, so Steffi. One of them is called Offenses Against Computer Users. Oh, right. Which is a felony. Yeah, um, as well as a misdemeanor of sexual cyber harassment, a misdemeanor criminal mischief, and resisting arrest without violence. Wow, wow. she got some charges on yeah. her. So, according to the arrest affidavit, mm -hmm. the 32 year old pro boxer with a million followers on Instagram is alleged to have illegally accessed a then boyfriend's laptop in March of 2022, saving the photos and then distributing them in different groups the victim was a part of in 2023. The woman who accompanied the ex partner, mm -hmm. she said that Steffi had told her mm -hmm. that she was the one who did it. What? Yeah. Why? For the purpose of exposing and humiliating her. The couple returned on the 16th of April 2024 with more evidence. 
The report adds the incident occurred after Cohen had learned her boyfriend was having a relationship with the victim. Cohen is alleged to have guessed the man's password and obtained the sexually explicit photos. According to the report, Cohen wrote in a group chat she sent the photo with the intent to cause emotional distress to the victim. Now, listen, if you're gonna share like intimate pictures, yeah, don't put your face in it. <laughs> yeah, this is something that you, you should have learned when you were like 20. Stunt 101. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. A, this is something that you should learn when you're 20 years old. If your pictures are gonna be incriminating, at least have some plausible deniability. He's out of line, but he's right. Unless you've got like these very noticeable Tells. tattoos and yeah. things like that, then just put your face in it, Kai. Everybody knows. <laughs> They basically said that Cohen had done this to be malicious and to cause them emotional distress. Emotional damage! On Tuesday, the 25th of June, 2024, okay. some police officers were doing their rounds and who should they run into? Big Steph. So they ap approached her mm -hmm. and said, you're under, under arrest. arrest. I don't feel like I'm under arrest. And so she began to walk away from them mm -hmm. and the arresting officer was like, hey, where are you going? You need to come back uh, here because we're arresting you. You turn around and put your hands behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. tried to get away with it on a sneaky. And so she said that uh, I need to go home to call my current partner to look after my dog. Aww. And, oh, and okay. they're like, I don't think you understand how arrests work. <laughs> <laughs> I right, step you throw them hands, babe. <laughs> yeah. Cohen continually disobeyed their orders, innit? So they, oh. they sit upon her, yeah? And she tried to sweep the officer's leg. Sweep the leg. While attempting to arrest her, she physically restrained, say police. At one point, using her right leg to hook an officer in an attempt to sweep him off his feet. So it's led to some hilarious comments on her page, innit? Oh, people my God. like spamming, sweep the leg. We put in Cobra Kai references. <laughs> it's a Cobra Kai, yo. Eventually, it took two officers to get her into the car, but she used her toe to break the locking system. How do you do that? How do you do that? Then, after being placed in a squad car, she attempted to use her toes to pull open the latch, ultimately breaking the lock. Brother, what kind of Terminator have you <laughs> decided to, to reprimand? Why she got you in a bear hug? Like, you went to hug her and she actually squeezed bro, you. Bro, Steffi is a unit, bro. Mm. Yeah, you see when you said Terminator? Yeah. yeah. That's what she, like, yeah, she yeah. could play a Terminator. Yeah, yeah. she's, she's. <laughs> <laughs> the influencer was released from county jail on Wednesday. The judge ordered Cohen to stay away from her ex mm. and obviously the girlfriend too. Cohen took to Instagram to defend herself, saying that the allegations had stemmed from a vengeful ex-boyfriend. A source close to Magarichi says the other woman used to be Magarichi's best friend. A brief statement was posted on Magarichi's Instagram page saying, quote, these are only allegations from a vengeful ex-boyfriend and we will fight it all the way. Here you have somebody who is decorated, someone who is well-respected within their field, both in her athletic achievements and her academic achievements. I think it's a shame because these are people who like really impacted people. I'm interested in seeing what evidence she has, if any, mm. that this was a ploy or a plot to yeah. besmirch her name. Because this is essentially what she's saying, that this is down to a vengeful ex. To me, it seems like an open and shut case. Mm. But it always seems like that coming from one person's narrative. Like, yeah. as long as their narrative makes sense, especially if we take it with the speculation. Mm. Steffi found out that her ex was cheating with her friend and went mad. And in order to satisfy vengeance, she posted this woman's like nudes in that. Yeah, that makes sense as a consistent thing. It, it's not right, but yeah. it makes but you sense. You see the linear yeah build up. This seems to stem from a breakup, whether it was cheating, mm. infidelity, 
or whether it was the natural conclusion to a relationship. I think it is true that people take breakups hard. There's this like, thing that happens especially with guys where they they speak like they're okay with it but they can't stop talking about the end mm. so the conversation goes a little bit like this if she's saying that she had problems why did she just air them why did she just leave mm. i don't understand why she left you know i think it would have been better if we had some closure and i'm not like it's not like i'm held up you know what i'm saying she could do she could do what she's doing and she's a free woman i'm a free man i'm gonna go out i'm gonna hit the town in it but you know when you're with somebody, don't you think that it's only appropriate to talk to them, like, and get the, and you're like, bro, if you were okay with this, you would be at peace with peace it. Peace with it, yeah, fair. When you break up with somebody, and it's because of an infidelity, and they choose somebody else over you, mm -hmm. that has not only, like, personal things for you to deal with. Yeah, like your own emotions and how you feel. Yeah, there is this kind of public embarrassment as well yeah like oh you couldn't hold on to your person yeah you know and i think that needs to be dispelled i really do because at the end of the day your partner was a piece of trash they were the ones who were so cowardly that they couldn't come to you and say this isn't working i want to end things and then go and have a relationship or you're yeah. not satisfying me this way and that way i feel like this having a negative impact what are we gonna do about it yeah they slunk off into the night like flea infested foxes wow and, that analogy <laughs> yeah mm. and was lying with other people mm. coming to home and then lying to your face you got some set of balls you know that you should not feel less than those people mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a violation. Yeah, you shouldn't feel less than those people. You know, I just feel like she didn't need to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if there was stuff going on in your relationship, you could have started with the talking. Um, if it still wasn't working from the talking, then that's a you and him issue. Do you know what I'm saying? But now you've included her. And to me, that part is kind of what makes it like so wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you basically like, oh, let me be spiteful. And it's kind of led you to a to a deep dark kind of place. Let, let us know what you think in the comments uh, about Steffi and this situation. Do you think that some news is gonna come out where she's going to exonerate herself? Or do you think this is an open and shut case and this is somebody who's a bit doo -doo -doo, you know what I'm saying? Wow. A little red red, you know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> I said what I said. And if you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel for more commentary on controversial figures and controversial things that go on in the online space. But until the next time, my name is Sammy. My name is Don. Thank you for chilling with the family. And until the next time, peace. Bye.